Hiya guys, West Country Explorers Dave and Amy here. Hello. Uh, now, okay, we've got the sun behind us, so it might be affecting recording a bit, hopefully not too much. But if you can see it, behind us it's the Atomium in Brussels. Not the Atomium. No, no, <laughs> the Atomium, yeah. It's an uh, enlarged model of an atom, and you can go in and go up to viewing platforms and see good views all around. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. So if you want to join us, keep watching. Bye bye. So there it is, the Atomium. Yeah, like I said, sun right there glaring down, so all good fun. At least it's dry and sunny and blue skies. Very nice. It certainly is mahusive when you get up close. It was built in, oh, was it 56 or 58? I think it was 58 it was built as a, for some expo or other. And it was, um, it was originally just gonna be a temporary structure, like a temporary exhibition, but it's still here. It's become an iconic part of Brussels. Just come up to, I think this is level three, up in one of the balls. It's 16 euros a person to come to the Atomium. Just come up in a lift. This is one of the views we got. Absolutely amazing. Crazy golf. I think, uh, I think that's crazy golf, isn't it? By the way. Oh no, is it? No, I think it's just a. No, it's not. It's some some model. Not crazy golf at all. Model of mini Europe. I mean, it's a good thing that it's a clear sunny day today, you can really get to see the views. So the grand place, the great market is just sort of somewhere over there, in the distance a bit. Amy and I just went into the restaurant before we get a drink. They haven't got proper menus, they give us a stupid proxy sobbing QR code thing that you have to scan. I mean, why? Wow. If you haven't got a smartphone, you're wank it, you can't yeah, you, know, you can't do anything if they, if they give you just a QR code. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm old and I can't stand the way technology's going. I mean, why the heck did I have to give you a QR code instead of a proper menu? It absolutely grinds my gear, so I'm sitting there grumbling. But anyway, Amy scans a QR code and what's up the menu to me. Four euros fifty for a blinking cup of tea. As soon as I saw the price, I just got off and walked out, so we're not having a drink there. So, yeah, it's rubbish. I mean, honestly, QR code for a menu? No, give us a proper menu, please. I ain't got time for that kind of crap. Coming down from level three, they really crammed us into the into the elevator down. It was Amy. You said there's quite a lot of people in the elevator. Yeah. Didn't you? It, we were, could hardly move, it was very crowded, claustrophobic, and I don't like lifts at the best of times. So. I've been in a bit of a grumpy mood the last yes, couple of minutes. Yeah, <laughs> <out> the cafe. <laughs> so I've already done a lot of recording on that. Yeah. 
So we're getting an elevator, a lift even up to the level one expo bit. So I'm starting to cheer up a little bit now. I've had my five minutes grumpy now, so now I'm a bit better. Now we've got a bit of a expo here. We're all about the atomium and all the rest. So we're gonna have a good little look around, reading all the info. Hello. <laughs> Uh, like I said, it's quite a bit of info here. There's a, just over there, there's another lift escalator even going up to the next bit. This is different. I don't remember this from last time. Oh. It's quite important, it's definitely an elevator with lights. I don't think it was here last time no. I came here. Well, I'm going to stop it now. Yeah. Well, it was it was ten years ago I came yeah, here last. No. Time. This is really good, Dave. It is. <laughs> One of the best elevators I've been on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Escalator, I mean. Yeah, yeah and it's slow. <laughs>
guys, that was the uh, Atomia. It's a um, few di little differences from when I last came here. I remember when I last came, there's a guy dressed up as a like, costume as like one of the like cartoon characters from a comic strip, and you had the opportunity to have a photo taken with him, which you could buy it down as a key ring or something like that. Didn't have that this time, but that's all right. But that light display thing, yeah, there, that was excellent. That yeah. was absolutely fantastic. So it's it's been a thoroughly enjoyable yeah. visit here. Yeah. I highly recommend it. We couldn't get a photo because the printers were down. So. Yeah, so uh, when we came in, there was a guy taking like photos of people, but couldn't get a copy because I only just had printers down. So I mean. When they are, when it is up and running, you can get either a photo for ten euros or a key ring. I think that was six euros. Yeah. yeah. And that's so yeah. You see a bit of the Atomium behind us. Stopped for a drink. Got Coke Zeros. The little cafe outside is a bit more sensible prices than the restaurant inside. So I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken my grumpy hat off. <laughs> How Amy puts up with me, I don't know. But anyway guys, the Atomium, if you're in the area, if you're ever visiting Brussels, yes, I highly recommend a visit here. Go then, for it, you won't regret it. We're gonna, we came by um, tube and we're going back by tram. Yeah, uh, we're looking to get a tram back, so yeah, uh, sort of mix it up a bit. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, God bless. Bye bye. Uh, Muffin time, muffin, muffin, muffin time. <laughs>